Chris, you, need, you should probably move now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ricer Boy, and it's a snow day today. So for me, school has been closed for two and a half days, but now there's actually a pretty nice layer of ice on the road that was sleet that was just compacted and frozen down. And now because of that, it means that we can take out some vehicles and basically have some tomfoolery to celebrate winter time, since it's pretty likely that we're not gonna get weather like this again for this season. Well, he almost hit his own car. So my story for having a snow day is admittedly a pretty long story. It all started on Tuesday when I was going into school and work when there was a torrential downpour of typical Oklahoma rain. I thought nothing of it because at least at the time it was like 60 degrees outside. But then, within a couple of hours of when I left at 9 o'clock, it went under freezing and my car got covered in a whole bunch of ice like this because all the rain that already fell down froze. Then after that, the rear brakes and tires froze to the ground, so they released school at 1245, of course, since they go to the University of Oklahoma. And as they were releasing school, I had to get this thing back with no ABS, no traction control, no driving aids whatsoever. I had to get this all the way back home, and somehow I did it safely without any injury. Then, after all that happened, and I had basically three quarters of that school day to myself, they then canceled the day after that. Then, all the sleep that you see fell down, and they canceled the day after that. So even though compared to what Oklahoma usually gets, this isn't even that much of a snow day, you could probably understand why I didn't upload on schedule, because I've been spending all this time dicking around outside. That, and look at how perfect this weather is for sledding. So now here's some first-person point of view of sledding. All right, let's do a run on the sled and see how this goes. Now if you've been keeping up with the channel lately, you're probably wondering how that little scooter rips it. Let me show you a video. Rice are sledding. Let's go. That didn't go as planned. Run would be a bit of a way to die.
Not bad for an off-road path. So we're just going around the neighborhood scouting out good hills to sled at least before everything that's here melts because once things start melting, then I can start drifting with the Sentra. That's a good idea, man. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god look at you bent the sled. You actually bent the sled. Wait, what? The, the front left side. It's, it's not bent. Yes, it is bent. Where? Look at the front. On the very top, very top. Oh. I think it was already like that. How, how painful is that on a scale of one to 10? Two. Jesus. Guys, I don't know if you're seeing this, but this is like a five foot drop. And that's what he just sledded off of. So I shouldn't worry about what happens to the sled. Try, try and land clear of the sled. I'll try to land clear of the sled. So if you, if you land clear of me, if you find that I have to move. Chris, you, need, you should probably move now. Oh, I nearly put my eye out. <laughs> Holy oh shit! God. Man, if there's some chicks here, they'd totally be impressed. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, no one tell me this is a boring episode of Ricer Boy. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> now that was some good sledding. Now since the roads are pretty much melted for the most part. I think we should take the Sentra out. So I can't lie guys, it's a couple hours later and the weather's been acting really weird. We got a whole bunch of rain for no real reason. So if you remember me saying how this entire storm started out with a torrential downpour of rain, well, the temperature went up since our sledding adventure and then it started raining again and these drainage canals here were filled up all the way with rain. So now it's finally stopped at least a little bit so we can start drifting on these slick, nice roads. Cold start time. Now let's see if we can get any good videos of some slides. Let's try another corner. Oh my god. Well now you got to see what it looks like from the outside. Well guys, I hope you found something entertaining out of all of those shenanigans, because even I'll admit that the road surface was not the right conditions for my car to drift at its best, and I was a bit nervous to yank the handbrake. 
excuses, excuses. But at least it was something. And on that note, as always, thanks for watching and peace out.